It was a trip to Britain for the 1963 Eurovision Song Contest that took Nana a step further on her path to superstardom. On behalf of the BBC, welcome to the eighth annual Eurovision Song Contest. The last of our guests from the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. As Greece didn't have an entry that year, Luxembourg asked Nana to sing for them. so sure I will not win. And I think the first time that I did television in my life without having an audience, and it was very strange for me, you know, it was technically all, also was not, not used to it, and I, I think I didn't perform right. Nana came eighth in the contest, but something about her impressed the program's director. And it was the start of a long working relationship and friendship. I just liked the voice and I thought it was, I thought she had a personality. Um, I suppose it was unusual to see a singer uh, wearing glasses. She didn't look like everybody else. She didn't have blonde hair and she, she was very distinctive in her appearance. I think it was a bonus in the end. It was not a disadvantage. I don't think the eyeglasses did very much to enhance her performance. I think her power as an artist and the fact that she prevailed made the glasses acceptable. Oh, oh, oh. 